One week from today, voters will decide whether Republican Governor Scott Walker will keep his job or be replaced by Democrat Tom Barrett. Fox 11 on Special Assignment is spending the entire week bringing you in-depth interviews with the candidates on the major issues in the race. And we begin with the issue that led to recall election, the major changes to collective bargaining. And Robert Hornacek is here with a preview. Good morning. Good morning, Rachel. You know, it was about a year and a half, and a half ago that Governor Scott Walker announced his plan to limit collective bargaining for most public employees so they could pay more for their pensions and for their health care. And you recall the massive protests at the state capitol in Madison that followed. Of course, the controversial plan eventually passed, and it sparked this unprecedented recall effort against the governor. And with the election getting closer, I sat down with Walker and his opponent, Democrat Tom Barrett, to talk about the issue that started it all. Barrett says he would try to undo the changes to collective bargaining, while Walker says the changes were the right thing to do. I would seek to restore collective bargaining. How exactly would you hope to do that? Well, I think that there, there's a multifaceted approach that you could take. You could do it through a special session bill. You could do it through a freestanding bill, or you could do it as part of the budget. But, but again, I think it's fair that people have the right to organize, and I think it's fair that people have the right to bargain. Could I have done this process differently? Absolutely. If I spent more time last January and February uh, talking about how most school districts had to buy their health insurance from just one company, uh, and that cost them tens of millions of dollars more than it needed to, I think most people would have said, Democrat and Republican alike, Governor, you need to fix it. If I talked about the abuses in overtime that led in like Madison, where a city bus driver made $150,000 a year, most taxpayers, Democrat and Republican, would have said, you need to fix it. My problem was I just fixed it, then I talked about it. Most times politicians talk about it, but never fix it. And as you can see from those two sound bites, these candidates are ve have very different views on the issue of collective bargaining for public employees. My full report will air tonight on Fox 11 News at 9. Now, he touched on it a bit during that sound bite we heard from Barrett, but mm -hmm. won't it be tough for him to reverse these changes? Yeah, he, ad he admits it would be a very difficult thing to do because, quite frankly, it's not just up to the governor. He, of course, would need the state legislature to act. And while the state Senate could change hands and could go to the way of the Democrats because of the state Senate recalls, Republicans have a pretty strong majority in the state assembly. So if Barrett wins, he says he would put pressure on those assembly Republicans to try to undo the changes. But he admits it's not going to be very easy to do. And Walker's view? Walker's view is simple. He says, look, let's move on. We had this debate last year. It's over. He says he, Tom Barrett's the one who wants to go back and rehash this whole debate from the last year and a half. Scott Walker says people are tired of it. Let's move on. Let's move on to other issues. All right. Thanks, Robert. Now, these stories air all week long. All week. Like getting ready up to the election. Yep, we're going to focus on all of the major issues tonight. We, we're focusing on collective bargaining. We're going to have some on jobs, some on education, health care, and Mark Leland and I are going to be here to walk you through them. Looking, looking forward to all of them. Thanks, Robert. Again, that full report on collective bargaining tonight at 9. Good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back.